Today we are going to be making some fun Easter Bunny pancakes. I've got this fun little Easter Bunny mold. If you've got something similar, um, other cupcake molds, other silicone shape molds, you could do this with that. You could do it with dinosaurs or Mickey Mouse or whatever fun shapes you may have. But since Easter is coming up and it, at least at our house, the Easter Bunny isn't coming because he's quarantined. This is something fun that we are going to do and have for Easter morning breakfast. You guys know that in our house I'm gluten free and my daughter is dairy free so I'm going to be using the Aldi Live G Free pancake mix but you can certainly do this with your favorite pancake mix of your choice or you can certainly make your own from scratch. I just know that this one is safe for everyone in my house so this is what I'm going to use and instead of milk I'm going to use oat milk. This is a nice sweet milk, so the flavor is still there. Again, you can use whatever milk you use in your house. So for the Live G Free, it is one cup of the mix. One cup of milk. One egg. We're gonna whisk this around, and then we're gonna get to the fun Easter Bunny part. The nice thing about doing pancakes ahead of time is that they freeze really well. What I'm gonna do to make these more fun is I have rainbow sprinkles. I'm gonna open the big side. I've got lots of sprinkles in that I'm gonna whisk into my batter. So when this melts, it's gonna give a nice rainbow effect to the pancakes. And that's gonna be fun for the kids on Easter morning. Okay, right, so I'm gonna use a tablespoon to scoop my batter into my bunnies because I don't want to overfill my bunnies. Sounds silly. If you wanted to make this extra fun, you could add some food coloring before I made my pancakes teal using a little bit of blue food coloring. I will link to that video up in the corner as well as in the description down below if you want to check out that. That was the first time I did pancakes in the oven. I'm just gonna use little mini cupcake pan for the rest of the batter. And I'm gonna just stick them both in the oven at once. So here are my sweet little rainbow sprinkle bunnies. You can see I overfilled the mold a little bit. I'm gonna let them cool and then pop them out onto a plate and I will show you guys those. I would underfill the mold a little bit more than I did. I've got my other ones still in the oven. They were on the bottom racks. They need just a hair more time. So when you are removing the pancakes from your mold, do it very gently. I did let it cool for about five minutes. And now I have these super cute little bunnies. Actually, can you see? It's they even got the little face on them, which I think is adorable. I will say, if you look, it didn't look like it was going to turn out very well, but remove carefully and then when you serve it, you just want to make sure you serve it bunny face side up. So this side looks awesome, this side not so much, but there we go, like little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest. And there you have it, there is our rainbow sprinkle tie-dye bunny. Thank you guys so much for watching, please subscribe for more fun, kid-friendly, budget-friendly meal ideas during quarantine. See you guys next time!